Hello everyone. And now I'm going to tie in a merger pattern like this, Bubble CDC Caddis, and I'm going to show you a trick that I've shown you in a previous video with the heckle pliers and one CDC feather. So I'm going to make a Bubble CDC without stem, so it's going to be very soft and gentle. For this purpose I'm going to use unusual hook. It's 302 by Dohiku. It's a nymph hook, but it has very thin wire as you can see and uh, also I'm going to use very strong but yet very thin thread uh, Nano Silk by Semper Fli. It's 18-0 and it's grey. You can use any color you like. So you can start at this band of the hook, make a couple of turns more than usually because it's very slippery thread. So it can just tie off. It can run away from you if you don't do that. Or you can wax it and use less thread wraps. So for this purpose I'm also going to make trailing shock with this stubbing, orange. Uh, you can use anything you like, but I like orange because it's, it's not going to be too bright. You will see, like I'm just using a couple of strands here, not too many, like so. And you can fold this back and create a slight taper, like so. You don't want too many strands behind your fly because it will affect the properties of your fly and it will uh, probably look to the fish like too big body. So I'm using crystal flesh now in some kind of purplish color and I'm tying all the materials here at the thorax part because I'm going I, I want to make kind of bulk over there uh, and if you catch your materials near the rear end of the hook you're going to create bulk over here which you don't want. For the body, I'm going to use my own mix of squirrel with some UV fibers, you can see them purplish here. And you want to make rather thin body. So in order to achieve that, you need to take just a little bit of dubbing like so. And always dub your way up in the same direction, move your fingers in the same direction. Never do this, because you're going to wrap it around and then unwrap around your thread. You don't want to do that. As you advance, you want to thicken your dubbing noodle so you create a slight taper. You'll see as I advance, uh, as I wrap my dubbing, uh, the dubbing noodle is getting thicker. So I'll hold my materials here and go. And you can see that my dubbing noodle has this tapered shape as I want it. So I go forward and I spend my dubbing noodle slowly and then when you reach the, the near end the the end of your abdomen part you just wrap your crystal flesh in rather open turns and let it soak into the dubbing. You can see that here. Now go catch your crystal flesh with like two turns. And then you can fold it back and then cut it. The other thing you can cut now is trailing shuck like this. And I don't want these two spiky hairs because they can sometimes hold, if you cast very delicately, they can hold your fly onto the surface. And I want this body to be under the surface. Now I'm going to show you this trick with the uh, hackle pliers with square tip and CDC feather. So pull back these fibers and just roll your CDC and with each turn go below the previous turn. So just go. Now I need to hold this, hold this by the end. So like so. And you can see that the whole set of CDC feather is divided in two parts, left and right. Hold one part of it, hold the second one, twist it a little bit in your fingers and fold it back together. And now you have your CDC on one side and stem 
on another side then just slide your scissors under the stem and cut it now the reason why I'm using this thread is because it's very strong uh, before I proceed I want to pull out all those very short ends of CDC I don't want this to be too thick because these short ends are just gonna stick out they don't form a loop so just remove all those short ends you don't need them and then okay hold this CDC here very tightly the reason why I use this thread is because it's very very strong so I can pull and make my um, so I can pull tight and secure my materials very very well so this is what I want to do okay create slight taper here okay I'm gonna remove this tag ends a little bit now pull this up stands well now you can use those CDC fibers that you pulled out or you can use the same dubbing as I'm using here as I used for the body now you can make it a little bit thicker now not too thick but remember when you press your thread if, if the dubbing noodle is thicker you want to press harder on your thread so you keep all those fibers trapped below the thread okay and I notice one thing that's very important here notice how much space I have left for the head it's because I want to have enough room to form a head and make a loop now use dubbing needle or anything you want just slide under your CDC and form a loop now transfer your fingers and with pinch and loop like so catch this Hop. second one now position everything on the top go to the eye and then go back now when I pull back this you can see that I'll trap it with just one turn everything is trapped and going behind two that's it now I want to pull this up because it's easier for me to make a whip finish knot I like to make two whip finish knots with this one pull tight two and pull tight again I always pull away from me because it sets the knot better I think now don't press your scissors like this because it won't cut push them that's it finish fly now notice just one thing my scissors tip of my scissors is where the water is going to be and everything below it like this is going to be under the water so this is an emergent pattern and notice the next thing the profile of the fly from the bottom it looks very very fishy with few CDC fibers sticking out looking like legs maybe wings going out in the way it's very good fly and you won't regret if you tie it now guys thank you very much for watching thank you for your time and see you next time